What is good? Yo. What up, y'all? Welcome back to the Floodcast. I am your boy, Floodzilla, and I'm here with my lovely co-host, Mozilla. What up, y'all? This is the last normal place on the internet, and we are glad that you could be here with us today, and you will be too by the end of the video, I guarantee it. Yes. So, I think I just wrote on or my sweater. Or your money sweater. back. Or your money back. What? But I think I just wrote on my sweater. Where? But, uh, I think you're good. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, how you guys doing? First and foremost, make sure you like the video, mm. comment on the video for the mm. algorithm, and uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop. Boss booty. Okay. <laughs> and uh, today's video is about um, men and women's relationships, right? Mm -hmm. Jordan Peterson discusses whether men and women can ever be equal. <laughs> you know? We don't, we don't got to say much before the video starts, obviously, right? Yeah, I'm curious. Me too. See what points he's about to Same. make. Same. Same. But he's pretty uh, logical, so Absolutely. I think, I think uh, he'll probably say some shit that makes sense. I think he's about to say some shit. Probably, right? All right. Let's get into it. What do you understand by equality, Sophie? What does it mean to you? Uh, freedom. Can you be more... Is it equality... Of opportunity, is it equal pay across the board? Is it <laughs> it's just <Freedom>. already <laughs> like what? Is, just freedom, just anything. <laughs> freedom for real. That's such not an answer. It's that's a that's a that's a cop out. Yeah, that's so it's not an, an answer. Out. It's just she wanted other people to talk first. That's why yeah, you know, the way that feminism is like pushed today is just already ridiculous. <laughs> the fact that that was her answer, freedom. he clearly wanted to just know like. <laughs> Uh, he, exactly what he said. What, is, what does speaking. equality look like since people are begging for it so much? What are you really begging for? Exactly. What are you looking for? Let us you know? know. Give us examples. Exactly. Start talking. Exactly. She said freedom. Typical. <laughs> Something more than that. I think <laughs> equality is better for everyone. I, I yep. think, okay. you know, I, Not what he and said. I'm really delighted. Uh, you know, I love my job because it's an optimistic and a hopeful job which is about creating more choices for people. I'm interested in people being able to have different choices and, um, and having equality of outcome. Aha, well, so you're going to have choices and equality of outcome. What if people choose, choose different things, which is what they've been doing in Scandinavia? So the Scandinavian countries have moved more towards gender equality than any other countries. And the personality differences in Scandinavia have increased rather than decreased. And the proportion of women who are choosing STEM fields has decreased rather than increased. So as cultures become more gender neutral, the number of women who choose STEM fields decreases. Would you like STEM fields? So science, technology, technology okay, okay. engineering, and mathematics. So if you let men and women make their choices, what actually happens is that they specialize in different, in different did situations. You, did you see clearly he was talking, right? Yeah. He asked him what STEM is, and the lady in the back said, Science, yeah. <laughs> science technology, what is it? Sci on top of him, sci science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Oh, engineering, yeah. She yeah. had to yell it on top of him. He clearly wasn't talking to her. <laughs> I, know what they, I know what they are. I don't work in them, but I know what they are. Like, not even a point made. STEM fields? So science, science, technology, technology. engineering, and mathematics. <laughs> so if you let men and women make their choices, what actually happens is that they specialize in different in different situations. Could they and you not, don't get equality of Could outcome. they not have been programmed to have those views from the moment we raise them and give boys no. Lego and construction? No, no because what happens is that as countries get more <laughs> egalitarian, which means there's less programming, programming of that sort, the differences get larger, not smaller. And the scientific data on that is clear. And most of it was generated by people who have a left-leaning bias, so you can't blame it on conservative scientists. It was a shock to everyone to find that out. So I think, I, think I mean, I think the difference between Jordan and me is that we um, we look at uh, evidence and we lean towards different theories. So Jordan's theory is very much evolutionary, you know, that there are inherent differences in men and women. Mine is very much more social role theory, if you like, and I, that, that men and women are taking on different roles due to the expectations that society puts on mm. them. And it's, it's interesting that Jordan <laughs> frequently uh, cites Scandinavian countries where they've made more, like there's nowhere in the world that women are equal, um, but Scandinavia has made the most progress towards um, uh, shared parenting, um, etc. Um, that said, um, it's not done yet. 
There's nowhere in the world where this is done yet. But so, it's having the opposite so, effect that the gender equality types predicted. But, but, opposite, not, not the same. So and it isn't a theory, it's actually data driven you. by tens of thousands of surveys and the best scientific literature on the topic. I'm no, it's not a theory, mm. and I didn't come about it because of my political perspective. I looked at the data. What it showed was that as countries become more egalitarian, the differences between men and women grow. They don't shrink. So what I'm interested in is, is data and analysis as well, and I'm particularly How interested can you in the say ones that? presented, such as the ones by the University of Southern California, but just um, one which school. discovered that um, change towards gender equality is actually being slowed by beliefs that are legitimizing social inequalities on the basis so of sex. You only and go I'm for the place. So, so Jordan said he looked at all. He said everybody was surprised to find out that leftists came up with the idea of giving, he said, moving towards a more uh, equal situation. Yep. And women chose less to go into STEM fields. Yes. And that everyone was surprised to find that out. Yep. Which means she, hold on, <laughs> what was I supposed to say? Which means she is saying that she's looking for one study from one school yep. that is confirming her bias basically <laughs> from southern california on but top yeah. of it <laughs> but the but the bias would have been confirmed in the other study too because they were all surprised to find out that it worked out it's all right yeah it was already confirmed so everyone was already thinking okay women will choose to go into stem fields when they did those studies when yep. they looked at all that they all were the assuming. data and it, they were assuming that it would be that yep but then it ha it was really actually the opposite. And exactly. That's a, that's a bunch of studies all together. And she's looking for one. Yeah, she's at one one place, Southern University, Southern California University <laughs> uh, studies. So yeah. one place that does studies that are leaning About towards gender equality. Yeah. Towards your beliefs. Another thing that's that, the ones. Those are the only ones you listen to. That's yeah. crazy. And she also said, uh, Jordan and I also we. We're different because we both take evidence, but then we both make different theories from it. But he is not, he's coming with facts. He's not coming with theories. Yes. He's coming that's with. That's why he said that. Yeah, that's that why shit he said, this isn't me a off, theory. Yo, like, that's why he said, this is not a that, theory. Like, you, she's just. Her whole, that's, she said, my, my, I love my job. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not a exactly. job. Exactly. You're fucking, exploiting. Mm -hmm, and she threw that in there, like, just to make it seem like so people would just. I hate when people do that. They just throw things yep. at, like to make it. Yep. It's the facts and just create keep talking their own narrative. So people go along with it. Yep. Create it's your so, own narrative yeah. and then talk until it makes sense. <laughs> and then it doesn't. And then people are just like, damn, okay, let's end this conversation. Damn, we just wasted so much time. <laughs> <laughs> also interested. I mean, like Jordan, I look at the data and I look at the studies and I'm really also very much interested in studies uh, like the analysis that was done by um, the American Psychological Society, which looked at 45 analysis of se whether there's sex difference over 20 years. And its conclusion was that men and women are basically alike in terms of personality, in terms of cognitive ability, in terms of leadership. But what it did find was that media depictions of men and women as fundamentally different perpetuate misconceptions, as does workplace bias. Oh, God, so it's and? my fault. So... No, I don't get well, you know, said. you're leaving soon. It's okay. <laughs> men and women, men and women actually are more the same than they are. Yeah, different. what is she trying to but say? But the issue is, is that small differences at the population level can turn into very large differences at the extreme. So, yeah. for example, men and women are broadly similar with regards to aggression, although men tilt a little bit more towards aggression. About so that if you picked a random person out of the population, male and female, and you guessed that the male was more aggressive, you'd yep. be right 60% of the time. Yep. But if you take the one in a hundred most aggressive people, they're all male. And that's why the overwhelming proportion of people who are in prisons are male. Yep. Now, do you want to equalize that? Just oh. out of curiosity? <laughs> I, what about bricklayers? They're 99% male. And, the, and we've got about three quarters of, yeah, of the population be. now in universities mm -hmm. in the humanities Sunning. and social sciences are female. Yeah. Are we going to equalize that? And men, men work more longer hours, they work more dangerous jobs, mm -hmm. they're more likely to move, they're mm -hmm. more likely to work outside, mm -hmm. they're more likely to participate in jobs in the STEM fields that are scalable, they make more money for those reasons. And that's all hidden and under the idea that the, the reason media? that men and women yeah. make different amounts of money is because right. of their gender. It's a and very it, simplistic analysis. And, and even if it is because of the media, who the fuck cares? Just for don't real. follow media. Like, what are you talking about? So you want, you want to blame watching yes. tv and and believing that even though you've been told over and over again that's unattainable yep. that's not real that yep. is uh 
fantasy world. Mm -hmm. You get told it and you still follow it. And that's whose fault. Yeah. What are you trying to. So are you saying like TV should be banned? Like are you saying media should be banned? What are you trying to get out here? So any outward influence on what you do. Yeah. has to just go away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, everybody has to be the same You on just TV. can't do, you can't make your own choices. Mm-hmm. Like, like I, I, I say this, I've said this a few times. After you are aware that this is the thing, now you should be able to do something about it. Yeah. Because you know that's what's happening, right? Mm-hmm. So if you know that the outside is perpetuating this, whatever, whatever, and that's having an effect, stop letting it. Boom. We were just talking about that this morning. <laughs> it's so simple. It's not even... You can't blame everybody else when everybody else is mm-hmm. dealing with the same shit. Every, a different different way, same shit. It's exactly. all the same shit at the end we're of the day. We're all dealing with the outer influences that mm-hmm. we're trying to fucking yep. balance with the inner influence. And we're all doing the same shit, except women, women like this, think that women should be able to, uh, like, not have to deal with the world. Yeah, only when it's convenient. Even though we're all in this world alone. And these days, women will be like, they're so quick to reject a man. Like, get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck out of my, like, Mm -hmm. bro. So you think that you should not have to cooperate with anything. I'm not saying, like, just be with people like that. That's cooperating. Like, you women feel like they have all of these, because of feminism, they feel like they have all of these things. Yes. That make them. Yes. Entitlements. Entitlements that make them like that make them special yeah you know what i'm saying that means that they shouldn't have to do the same do the same mm-hmm. make the same choices to get the like she said the the, the equal outcome she wants the equal outcome well you have to do those things but the same thing that the, the same, man would yeah. do to get that outcome yep and you'll get that yep work is hard do everything you but, have to do that the man would do to get that same outcome but you want to be able to basically do the same thing and yeah. get the same exact yeah. outcome that's not how this that's works that's not equality bitch that's not equality <laughs> that is I not don't equality. Be equal i how, don't want to be equal <laughs> how would that be equality like if if i don't get to be as lackadaisical doing what i'm doing and i'm in this spot then you shouldn't be able to absolutely if, if you if get you're to talking the same equality. spot as me and i'm actually taking the shit more serious that's not equality yep that's not fair, and yeah. that's what that's what women like her want. It doesn't make any mm-hmm. sense, and I, and I don't even think that's how the majority of women think. No, I think the majority of women are like, the world is the world. You know what I'm saying? It and is then they what it and is. then they're exposed to this type of media. She's talking about media yeah. ex- exposing. I mean, fucking. Uh, she's doing the yeah. She's the one perpetuating the bullshit. For real, there's gender roles, and I accept that shit. I play them. It too. is what it I don't is. Want, I don't want the that's same the thing. roles as a man. And that's the thing. <laughs> if, but but if. If, if there is a girl who doesn't believe in gender roles, she'll find a man who doesn't believe Ab- in gender yeah, roles. absolutely. You know that's what I'm fine. saying? Go, go ahead. But, but that's not what they want to do with this world. They mm-hmm. want everybody to conform to them. Yep. Everything. But yep. you're just not going to happen. Just because I'm against it doesn't mean, I mean, yeah. like, it doesn't yeah. mean I'm against you and exactly. your shit. I'm just not doing that. Exactly. <laughs> and you're going to find a man who believes in gender roles as well. And then you're going to be fine. You'll be happy. And live and happily then other ever people after. who single people who aren't in relationships and don't and don't believe in gender roles will sit there and look at a relationship like that and be like, Oh my god, that's so fucking mm-hmm. disgusting. He's so controlling. She's so she's a pick me and all this. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're happy, like ah, I'll be I'm a chilling. Me, bitch. I'm over here chilling, kicking <laughs> it. Da, da, da. That one's over there harboring all his misery and resentment because other people are happy doing their own thing. It's crazy. Getting picked. Crazy. Motherfucker. Crazy. <laughs> it's and it's like like what did MTR say? We are made for each other. Yeah, absolutely. We are made Male to be and together. Women. Yep, men and women. We are made to be together. Mm-hmm. Contrary to what everything's saying to you, you you don't have to, but no. in like in all reality, we are made to be together. Biologically. It is everything. what it is. And everything. that's if there was no doctors out here doing any of this mm-hmm. work, you know what I'm saying? Pushing technology and pushing the like yeah. new discoveries to the to the you know what I'm saying? <laughs> To the fullest, there would, none of this would even be possible, and it would just be what it is. For real. And there's nothing you could do about it. Yeah. It would be like you're asking for magic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now you're basically asking for magic when you're trying to f- control how everyone feels as well around you. Absolutely, and you can. Uh, that will never happen. It's crazy. Because you think you're special, which means you think 
men aren't special no one and else, men yeah. don't work hard mm -hmm. because they don't deserve what they have from what they do. But like no one's telling you you can't have that. For real. You're saying you can't have that. Yes. Because you're... you don't have that. That's not even that's never should be how it, you're mm -hmm. you're limiting yourself with those thoughts. You want to be handed it instead of having to do the extra work. Yeah, it's like people marginalize themselves. Exactly. Exactly, cuz this is victim culture, man. Mm -hmm. That's what they need to be that that's what this time is going to be remembered for, I think in the future. Yeah. They're, like we think it's gonna be remembered for race and all this and and women women vice presidents and black presidents mm. and no it's gonna be remembered for everyone being a fucking victim yep. you know what i'm saying yeah crazy but yeah let's go word trying to oh, I, I just gonna say can, can well, you come back I mean, on that I'm, I, what i'm trying to equalize is is opportunity and choice fine and let's I, equalize you agree, you agree, <laughs> you agree on that. but we won't get equal outcome think, that way and i think that what happens then uh, nobody knows because we, we've, we've never done it yet. we do know but we know what's happened in it scandinavia has, but, it but it's not fully got there yet. no yet. but it's going in the it's opposite finished. direction that everyone predicted and about. strongly that's how it I works think i think one of the things i loved about jordan's book She's which dumb, i read bro. speed read last she night is. so forgive me jordan i've not read every line <laughs> wow but one of my favorite rules read in jordan's book is rule nine which that. says assume the person you are listening to might know something you don't yeah and i think that in a but country that where mean men listen to ignorance. Women, um, uh, Believe by ignorance because you say it. In local government. Um, where Didn't mean to talk over it. Didn't mean to talk over it. You're right, because he knows what he's talking about. Yes. Like, don't, like, don't try assume. to put his rules back on him, exactly. bitch, because he's not going to talk on something that he doesn't know. You can assume that the person you're speaking to knows something that you don't, but that doesn't mean that everything that comes out of that person's mouth is right. For, absolutely. Like, you're, you, can, you can say something wrong. He can hear what you're saying. He's letting you talk, yep. and then he doesn't agree with you. Yep. That doesn't mean he has to believe everything you say because you've had different experiences. Mm -hmm. He ha he has had his own experiences that have led him to believe what he believes, and he has done the research on top of it. Yep. Clearly, you're doing research that confirm your biases because you even admitted it. You're taking specific little studies out of certain places <laughs> and picking cherry-picking data. Like, if, if that's how you want to work, that's how you want to yeah. work, but... Don't try to like. Then she tries to use his words against him. It's crazy. Like, for it's real, ridiculous. It's not even, not even applicable. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, by two to one in parliament, in local government, okay, for women's fine, which says assume. But one of my favorite rules in Jordan's book is Rule Nine, which says assume the person you are listening to might know something you yeah, don't. <laughs> and I think that in a country where men outnumber women. Um, uh, by two to one in parliament, in local government, um, where women's voices are not equally represented in media, um, where our education systems um, still are teaching boys and girls ideas of pink and blue. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is work with thousands really? of optimistic, hopeful people uh, and, for change. Okay. So she's trying to change the <laughs> little things, hoping that? that they'll change the big things. Yeah. I don't understand. What's the problem with right? that? She's, yeah, pink and blue, like, is that really a problem? It's really not. You're focusing on the wrong parts. Mm -hmm. How about, how about we teach them that hard work and, and if you choose to go into STEM fields, then you can learn, you could, you can grow in those fields. If, if women would go into these fields more and be, be as fucking progressive and forward as the men are in a lot of these areas. They would be like statistically, right? It's just, I mean, statistically, if, if more women tried to be something, there would be more women in that field, correct? Yeah, okay. yes, but naturally, Like, are women really being held back in no, these fields? No, that's the thing. These women just want to... Because we see them to, get through. We yeah, see them get in these spots. They want to They want to be able to do it, but they na they still, no matter what, biologically, they're not going to... They're certain not going to do it. Certain, yeah. yeah, but no, see, I, see, I, I, I understand that. Like they're not they're not built biologically for certain things, but work hard. You can get to the same strength level if you really work hard. Yeah. Do China, do what China did yeah. in WWE. If you, you can want absolutely to. get to that point and be as efficient as a man. Yep. If you if you want to if you want to do that, Go but ahead. don't think that you're gonna be able to not do that and get the and same get the fucking outcome. results. Yep. that doesn't make sense to no, me. No, it does not. And there's plenty of women in these. In these areas, well, not plenty of women, right? But if you see one woman in this area, that means women are not being held out of the area. That yeah. means you have to do whatever you got to do to get into that field. It is what yeah, it is. Or just, just like men don't, <laughs> like, there's men 
that have to be in in the lower positions in order for men to be in the higher positions, correct? Mm -hmm. Like, so every man isn't the fucking CEO and director of a company. So that doesn't, all those niggas ain't complaining. They're trying to do what they got to do to get to that point. Like, what are you trying to, it doesn't, I just don't understand this mindset of, uh, we want the equality even though we're not trying for the thing that we're asking for. And we don't even really want it. Yeah, and we don't even they really don't want even it, which really is what he's it. saying in the Scandinavian <laughs> countries. That's exactly what he's saying. Like, they get given the opportunity and then they go the opposite it. direction. And then it's she like, says, well, well they're not that. finished, but they're showing what it is. It's, it's, <laughs> if you get the opportunities and then you say, fuck those opportunities. Yeah, well, they're going to go back. What can you do now? So you just... You leave it like that, and then when all the women, like one day, okay, maybe all the women do say, we all want to do it, but like, clearly that's not what is, you're going to have to change the entire mindset of, real. of reality, which means you think you have the answers. And then you don't. Instead of just letting what happens naturally happen. You got to have something to complain about. It's crazy, Pink man. and blue. Pink and blue. Like, what is that? You set get very quiet through this, Michael. I'm going to make you uh, put you under pretty pressure. Right, I do think about I'm going to come to the calls in a moment. Your boss oh, called geez. the gender pay gap a burning injustice. Hold is, on, my bad. Is work. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to. Thousand... I didn't mean to yell over him. He just sounded like he was saying I, 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 <laughs> for a second. Did. So I had to do that, but I'll rewind it so you guys can hear it. Mm-hmm. Since we talk over the videos a lot, right? Because of optimistic, hopeful people uh, for change. Okay. You set, kept very quiet through this, Michael. I'm, I'm going to make you uh, put you under a bit of pressure. Do forgive me. I'm going to come to the calls in a moment. Your boss called the gender pay gap a burning injustice. Is it? Yes, it is, because uh, it's, there should be inequality of uh, opportunity. There needs to be the same rights. But you know something that surprised me? Outcome. That neither of you, and, and the quality of outcome, sure, all of that, all of that. But the one thing both of you haven't mentioned is the biological difference which unfortunately affects women's career prospects whether we like babies or not. Yeah. babies mm. and that does cause a problem you know if i were to take a sabbatical from a corporation for a while it's going to set me back slightly mm-hmm. and it is a problem that biologically it's women who have babies not men yeah. sure but that's why we are the so the women's equality party is the only party in the UK, uh, that's got policies around shared ideas. parental leave. She's so we're the political. Only, we're, the only, well, we're the only party that um, has got fully costed plans for universal free childcare. Um, what we're saying is that You're um, trying to change, change the we're outcomes. trying to change the outcomes, and also men are joining our party. Men well, who are I, really I tired. Say, I'm Mike, sure I'm going to have a word with Michael because <laughs> I'm sure he want the application. Okay, okay. Forgive me. We take joint Forgive me. I want to take one call if you'll forgive me because time is sure. really short, and I owe it to the viewers to hear their views on this. We've got Salim calling from Manchester. Salim, good morning. Hi, Matthew. How are you doing? I'm very well. I'm loving. I'm uh, hogging. Uh, pig in heaven today. Uh, <laughs> what do we think about equality? Will it ever happen, Salim? Um, I, I, I was going to say I thought it was going to happen, but after listening to Jordan, he's swayed my opinion. Oh, <laughs> no. Why did you, th- why did you think hype. it was going to happen? Because I think we're going to become more cognitive creatures and jobs are going to be more about mental skills. Technology. But then I've, I've been visited schools and I work in STEM. Techno- I, I, I'm a software developer and the number of women doing software development hasn't increased. Mm. I would have thought they would have increased more, but I went into secondary school to do GCSE, yeah, love uh, IT stuff, yeah, and there's very, like... very few girls mm. doing IT, and I was thinking, IT is I the know, future, right? and why are... <laughs> and they are... The schools are pushing for more girls yeah. to go into IT, mm. but there's only... T- I, can I, I, I visited can I about say... eight schools... Can and I just, I thought, sorry, sorry, can I just, oh, sorry. Nick, no, no, because I'm 30 seconds. Sophie's idea, actually, representations in the media could be affecting Absolutely. such choices. Geeks, we see geeks, oh God, bespectacled God. blokes with bad hair on computers. That's what tech <laughs> That's means, me. isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, and you're absolutely right, because I think, actually, that one of the other things we want to do no. is to have a look at curriculums, to have Plenty more women. female role models to, you know, to encourage girls. Because so long as we Hold still on. see STEM mm-hmm. as a boys' area that we're trying to get girls into, it's not going to work. We need to do the work we're doing on care, get more boys thinking about, you know, nursing, yeah. teaching, more role okay. models for boys in schools. And that's the way you break it all down. And having on programmes like EastEnders, The Archers, yeah. that's helped yeah. them Complete. a lot. Right, so, I, listen, I have to draw things to a conclusion. Can I just say how wonderful three people 
diverse political views, diverse views on uh, many other issues that get along famously and have wonderful conversations. Thank you. That is Thank exactly you. the ambition that I have for this you. show. Uh, so, Jordan, good luck with the book. It is out now. It's called 12 Rules for Life. I, yeah. I can respect that. Okay. A little clean, yeah, me clean too. debate. That's the type of shit that needs to be happening, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. But, uh, she, I, I still don't, I just don't, I, I don't, don't buy it yeah, either. I don't fuck with what she said at all. When she, she said, so he said that also representations in the media yes. will uh, affect it. And he said that uh, because they look like geeks and all that, that's why the stems, that's, but like, that doesn't, that's why the, that's why the, uh, there isn't more people in the field, more women in the field. Like there's still men in the field, right? Mm -hmm. And who, like haven't geeks are a good thing now right like shit changes over the over time right people yeah. are like oh i'm just a like girls geek. yes i see girls who are trying to use that as like a push on an instagram yeah so i don't think that that really no really is a thing that like oh i don't want to be considered a geek because i don't want to look like him on i don't want people to think i'm him i really don't think that that's stopping no. people from getting the job and if it is Cut the shit because that is not enough of a reason to not go into a fucking field. If you aren't that, but you're interested in that, what the fuck does that matter? And that's the thing. If you're, <laughs> if you're gonna let the media affect you like that, then you're bugging. You, but not affect you with other things. Yeah, exactly. Like it's real convenient. <laughs> yeah, like it's that's real convenient. Your, your bitch. It's real convenient yeah. that it just happens to be the things that are you, like yeah. that y'all don't want to do and stuff like exactly. that. That it's the media's fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like mm -hmm. that's crazy. The yeah. media is your best friend. <laughs> yeah. The fucking neck. Oh yeah. Yep. You're absolutely right. When they're like, yeah, kill your baby. Uh, up until dilation. For you know real. What I'm like, that's fine. The media's on your side for that. You're totally with it, right? Yep. Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. This video, that was a good video. I, I, I enjoyed him. making that. Me too. Yeah, he's a we gotta good do dude. way more Jordan Peterson Hell because yeah. he he is like I I aspire to have his level of composure, his level of like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it's just so he just, he he gets right to the point, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And says exactly what he, what he needs to say. Doesn't like use ad hominem attacks and shame people. No, no. He's never. usually the one being shamed because he is speaking yes. so logical and Such people don't facts. like that. And that is just a uh, that's an admirable quality that he has, man. Straight up. Uh, not to say he doesn't have his 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 issues and his flaws, but we're all flawed, you know, yeah. obviously. So yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you be notified whenever we drop. Booty. Love you guys. Uh, Love thank you guys for tuning in. We're close to 100K. Uh, yeah, remember to always stay flawed. Don't you dare try to play flawed. And if you see me in the streets, then you better say, hey, flawed. Hey. Make it easier for me to go to sleep at night. At night. I had a dream that I could do my thing. And everywhere I went, the people knew my name. Some people hated on the truth I bring. But now I use the hating just to fuel my flame. I had a dream that I could do my thing And everywhere I went the people knew my name Some people hated on the truth I bring But now I use the hating just to fuel my blame